Hello people on the internet, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, and welcome to the second installment of OSD Saturdays here over on the channel. Um, this week, not as many, we had like eight last week. Um, we don't have as many this week, primarily for the fact that while there were I think three or four shows that uh, put out their full OSTs, most of the songs that caught my attention were from like predominantly K-pop artists, uh, were released in 2022, and frankly, if I had gone and, like, plucked out bits and pieces from all the o full OSCs that released, we'd be here for, like, three hours. And, yeah, that seems like too much. So we're just gonna go with four for this week. Um, we've got Lovely's Jin, who we've checked out before on the channel. We've got La Seraphim. We've got Infinite's Nam Woo Hyun. And then we've got Miss Pak Chi Won from From His Nine to finish off the proceedings. So let's just move over to the next screen. I have the phone out because I have the um, release calendar uh, just so I can remember and know what show or like what piece of media these OSTs are for. So we're starting off with Jin's Endless, um, which is an OST for a web drama called Pick Go. That's yeah. That's enough waffling for me. Let's get right into it and see. Let's see what Miss Jin has for us. Um, volume all the way up in my headphones. Looks like OBS is recording nicely. Here we go. Three, two, one. <laughs> I have a friend in college who plays in a band that plays music like this, kind of like this slower, like lounge type music that Jin's really good at. It's just a really nice, relaxing song, isn't it? Mm, that little, like, palm muted guitar up there. Mm, very nice. You have, like, the lower rhythm part with the palm muted guitar, and then you have the really higher, like, very fluid palm muted guitar part. Mm. Interesting choice to open up all the instruments for this bridge part here. It's just a very smooth, like almost like lounge type song. On a day like today, where it's just like drizzling rain outside for me, it's very fitting, I think. It's a very cozy song, isn't it? It's 
it's one of those songs where it's it's like a um evening cruise not like a fast drive through the countryside but like a really slow drive through the city kind of or like it is outside today where the weather is just absolutely miserable you're inside and just ah it's relaxing just a soothing calming song very beautiful very beautiful indeed all right next ah Le Seraphim now now this one I have had to find lyric videos for because well I just had to um, get the proper experience for it. There's like the album version of it, just like we listen to with Jins. But apparently, um, this song kind of goes hard. So this is from the Japanese drama uh, 3000 Yen How to Win Rich Life, or in Japanese, Sanzen no Tsukaigata. And uh, apparently, there's some things that happen during this song. And this would this is also Le Seraphim's one of Le Seraphim's first pieces of Japanese music, so very excited to hear that. Che Wan's done plenty of Japanese stuff in the past with Eyes One and Produce Forty Eight. Sakura and Kazaha are both Japanese, and then Yunjin and Che are going to be like the unknown figures when it comes to Japanese music, but. I have been spoiled for this a little bit, not like in terms of what it sounds like, but what to expect. But I'll leave it at that and we'll just jump straight into the song here about Choices by Le Seraphim. 3, 2, 1. Let me readjust real quick. Japanese is really good. This pre-course build is so good. Syncopated synth hit. Oh, Mon Kama would I say, Lee took a bet in you. I don't give a damn. Then you want to be me, that it up, you want to be free. So see how I send me that is the king in my mind. So, A.O.B. Hoshino, one money, honey. Moon and it tell us, so A.O.B. Hoshino, one money, honey. You do get a catch out of all. I make my choice. Oh! Bridge no lead into the course and straight off back into the course again. Oh, 
not gonna cap. If this is actually, let me confirm this real quick. Um, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? La Seraphim. Man, Unigen's had a lot of stuff. Um, where where is it? Where is it? Where is it? La Seraphim. Japanese. Okay, so. Fearless, the Japanese version of Fearless is considered their title track, but this might be one of my favorite Le Seraphim songs that's come out. Like, I love the B-sides, like No Celestial, uh, Blue Flame, Impurities, even like their intros, like the What Was My Oyster, I absolutely loved. And... Honestly, sometimes I like the B-sides more than the title tracks they've done. And if this is going to be a B-side on the Japanese like release of Le Seraphim that's coming out soon, this might also be like ranking above the title track. For me. It's so good. It's... Oh... There's so much going on with the melodies. You get... All sorts of rapping and different rhythms going through this song that where where's that where's that synth build? This, this pre chorus It's such a, like, feel-good pop song. It's straightforward and to the point. It's so straightforward and to the point, you get very nice... Very simple percussion line. You get the syncopated synths, the... Then you get a nice floating melody on top of it. Oh, it's mixed super well as well. Oh. Genuinely. Ooh. Will it beat No Celestial for me? For me, personally, No Celestial is my favorite Le Seraphim song that they've released. Regardless of if it's the uncensored version or not. This is close. This is really close. Because this is like... This is the most standard, like... It doesn't get any more traditional pop sound than this for La Seraphim, in my opinion. Whoa. I'm gonna be sitting on that one for a hot minute this week. Alright, what do we got next? Ah! Istruhyam from... from uh, Infinite. Now, oh, what is this from? This is from a video game, if I remember correctly. I gotta scroll all the way down again. Uh, Nam Woo Hyun, uh, El Sword. Uh, it's a game. A uh, song's called Hope. Now, let me do that. Uh, the best video I could find about it was like this little segment, including the behind the scenes for it. We're just going to play through it. Um, I don't think this actually has subtitles. Yeah, that's unfortunate. But if I've seen the video correctly, there is a singing portion. Yeah, there we go. There's a singing portion in the middle, so we'll just play that and then talk over like the little final part of it. But Infinite. They're having a comeback this year. Or it's been teased that there's a comeback this year. Which makes me tremendously excited. Because if you don't know the story of me and how I got into K-pop, it's because of Infinite. The first song out of Korea that I ever heard was Infinite's BTD before the dawn. That was like my introduction into the genre. And look where we are now. It's been, what, 12 years since that song's come out? What a journey. Anyways, let's go. Hopefully there isn't any, like, gameplay or anything that'll get this video blocked. 
아름다운 도시이자 고향인 하멜을 지키는 것을 사랑하는 캐릭터인데요. To avoid that, we're gonna skip for a little bit. 파이팅. might be engineered on this is a busy percussion line that, that like chord progression there at the end of the verse is so different it doesn't fall like traditional one one five four one formula at all That like long note he holds there has a very nice tone to it. It's like there's like a hint of like it being muted, but it's still letting it like ring out. Very interesting. Really hit the brakes on this little outro here. Mm. Going with the modified <laughs> final chord. Ooh, I I love. I grew up with the '80s sound. In 80s music, so like 80s pop, 80s rock, 80s metal, 80s hip hop, stuff like that. Predominantly around that rock sound. So my heart will generally enjoy pretty much anything that is kind of resemblant of rock. It's kind of a reason why Dream Catcher on my old group, but I'm loving that. Because it's, you know, it's part of a video game, you kind of need, like, the high intense energy for it. And the rock sound that Wuyun does here is so good. It's perfect for what the video game needs, I think. Even if I don't know what, like, the concept of the game is, it looks like maybe it's, like, a mecha game of sorts. I don't actually know. But, you know, it, it looks like it's an action game of sorts. An action game, you need that kind of, like, really fast, like, heart-pumping energy. And what better way to get that than just a very classic rock sound? Not as in like classic rock as in like 1970s classic rock. I mean like a tried and true rock sound like this. His voice is like not quite like husky rock sound, but it's it doesn't have like the super clear tone that a lot of like pop singers will have. It sits right in the middle, which I think works super well for this song. Yeah, good stuff. Um, again, uh, I'm assuming it's going to be a lot of just 
uh, him talking about like the project and stuff and well since it's not subtitled one and two i'm worried about copyright and if there's like any video game actual like game in game footage coming up uh we're just going to skip to the last song which if i'm correct in remembering it's miss chiwon from from s9 uh let me just look up the show uh pun uh, joseon psychiatrist 2 osd part 1 by Miss Park Ji Won from from S9. I didn't know this was coming out. The only reason I did know was because all of the members of From S9 were posting about it on Instagram one morning when I woke up. Like, oh, new OST stuff to check out. Better keep that in the back of my mind for Friday. So, Miss Ji Won from From S9. Uh, I didn't realize the title was in Korean. Uh, what is it? Uh, Don't leave me is the song. And here we go. Um, again, this has drama footage in it, so I don't know how it's going to do with copyright. We got away with it last week. I'm hoping it's the same this week. If it isn't, eh, we try. Anyways, here we go. Last song of the day. Three, two, one. Jiwon has an absolute, just gorgeous voice, especially once you get her in the higher ranges. Does it have captions? No, it doesn't. Okay. Hmm, there it is. she has her high tone and like the from a snipe pop songs are super powerful and they hit so hard and she's like her voice naturally comes to the foreground, but give her like a soft ballad like this on her own as well, and just... She's got like three different tones she uses. It's like rich middle tone she has too, mm. and then just a very airy flick up to her higher register. we get into this key change here, Jiwon's higher tone loses the airiness and adds a little bit more oomph to it. Mm. 
Ends it on the four. <sighs> gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Mm, spectacular. Oh, it's... Mm, Miss Chiwon. Man. For such a chaotic being, what a delicate voice she has. <laughs> it's usually how it goes, isn't it? Like, the... Chaotic ones off stage are the one sometimes the ones that just have the most gorgeous of voices. Oh, her like when it gets to her upper register, Juon's voice can go like so many directions. It's kind of impressive. Like from his night in general, his vocal talent is kind of off the charts, and it's a shame that Beauty left the group last year because she for me had like one of the most technically gifted voices in the fourth generation not in terms of like oh she's really good at singing high notes and that she had this ability to like mix various tones when she sang that not many people could do at her level and the same kind of goes for jiwon jiwon has this ability to just like pull out different vocal styles even when it's in like the same vocal register so like in this song especially once she got up to that like higher register you know in the lower key you got this very delicate airiness to it and once you get to the key change you put some power behind it it's like she's a completely different vocalist her voice just completely changes and as the song ends still at that higher key Oh, the airy voice is just back again. It just She just has this ability to switch back and forth between different vocal colors when it's in the same register, and it's super impressive. And From Us has her, From Us has Hyung, who... Oh, man, after I found DM last year and hearing Hyung's whistle note in the final chorus, oh, my goodness. Like... From Us is an extremely talented group, and I've neglected them for way too long. I, like, absolutely fell out over heels with them at, like, the end of last year. And regardless, though, I love when we get to see OSTs from individual members within a group because it showcases a different side of them for me personally. Like, last year, we had... Sua from Dreamcatcher do a solo OST for Cafe Minamdang, uh, Still With You. That was absolutely gorgeous and so unlike anything she's done in terms of like group Dreamcatcher songs before. And while I think Jiwon's done solo stuff in the past in terms of like other OSTs, I haven't been in like the From Us 9 wormhole long enough to have heard them yet. So all I know her for is like the high notes in From Us 9 title tracks and B-sides and stuff like that, especially on like the choruses. So hearing this side of her here is super refreshing and super nice. And frankly, I'm tremendously excited for whatever From Us 9 has coming up in the near future. But that's it for me for this week's OST Saturday. Um, there were other stuff that I did not check out. Um, if you do want to find the actual list of like everything that's come out, there is a calendar on r slash kpop uh, over on Reddit. You can find pretty much what I reference every day over there. In fact, I'll pull it up right now. Um, go back to the screen. The r slash kpop wiki, it'll be on the side here if you're on desktop, on mobile, it'll be on one of the uh, top menu options. Upcoming kpop releases, it'll take you to this calendar, it tells you quite literally everything that's come out. So, and this is what I'll reference every single day before I start recording, and even down here there's a second one specifically for OSTs. All of this is OSTs that have been either announced or released, if you want to check out more. I refer to you to go over there. But that's it for me today. If you did enjoy and want to see more channel like on us up there, you can find the back catalog of stuff I watched in the past. Drop a subscription if you want to keep up to date with whenever I upload new videos. And if you want to watch another video of mine right away, YouTube recommends you watch that video down there. And until next time, bye-bye.